like I know he just does not feel good. Anyway, they're doing a flu swab on him. So Narkees has influenza type A. Oh. When? What? Guys, Keys has some serious bed head going on, but what's been going on the last few days, man? What's been going on? What happened at school? Uh, I don't know. I, I hear it on the time. Yeah, you got a headache and your tummy was hurting. Mm -hmm. And he had a fever. You guys, I feel like they've just... Nana. Yeah, and Nana came and picked you up. That's right. So, no Aiden, Aiden's okay. Um, but Narkees has just had like on and off fevers kind of going on. And we'll think he's better. And then he is not better. And like he tests negative for flu. So we don't think it's that. Nana. Yeah, Nana came and picked you up, didn't she? Uh-huh. But he seems to be feeling a lot better today, and he doesn't have, a, like, a fever. It's 99.2, which isn't really a fever. He runs hot anyway, um, so we don't really consider him having a fever unless it's, like, above 100. He wanted to color, and I'm out of paper, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking, but I packed up all of our paper and our art supplies. <laughs> I'm not going to the store. You need to stay home today, buddy. What? Because you've been sick. I don't want you to give anyone anything. <laughs> what you doing? Mm. I know. It stinks, huh? You're going to have to be home from school tomorrow, too. Because you've had a little fever today. <laughs> Kiss. Give me a kiss. Thank you. You're sweet. And a lot of you guys have been asking why he's wearing this necklace, and Jack has one too. This is a Baltic amber necklace. Cut hair. You do need a Yeah, we'll get a haircut soon. It doesn't look too bad though, it just needs to be brushed and gelled. Um, these are Baltic amber necklaces. Um, and it's basically a natural way. It emulates the same effects that ibuprofen would. Um, the amber, I don't know how to explain it, you guys. So the amber has properties in it that are absorbed by the skin. Um, and it, it's a pop up. Yeah, and it mimics the effects of ibuprofen. So that's why they wear it. I don't know if it's necessarily helping keys. I notice a difference with Jack for sure, like with his teething and fussiness, but. I don't know if it's helping keys, but it can't hurt, right? Mm. Can't hurt. Y'all look at his drawings. So he did this one. He did this one. What's this a picture of? Pop pop. Pop pop. Okay, that's pop pop. And then I was helping him with his name on this one. Mm. So he did this one. What's this a picture of? Antenna. And Jana. That's Jana. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like this one too. What's this a picture of? Sissies? Oh, okay. I see them. There's Zoe and Piper and mm -hmm. Jack. Yep. I see that. Good job, Betty. Me don't. Yeah, I need to take you to the doctor. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Okay. I'm so sorry you don't feel good. Oh no no, tell me hurts. Your tummy hurts. I no no. You don't know if it hurts, or it does hurt. It does. It does. It does hurt. Okay, I'm gonna get you taken care of, man. Don't worry. Let's change your shirt. Good job. Taking care of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
the doctor. Uh -huh. Take your blanket. Mm -hmm. Wanna take your blankie? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll take your blanket. Okay, you guys, so I'm on my way to the doctor with Narkees. I've been monitoring his fever really closely, taking it probably every 30, 40 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm out of breath. I just carried him from all the way upstairs. But so I've been monitoring his fever on and off every 30, 40 minutes. And it had been okay, like it had been pretty stable. It had been at like 99.2, 99.8, like no big deal. Um, and then it just spiked to 101.8. So then I'm like, okay, you can't be upstairs anymore. I had to send him back downstairs to his room because he needs to be isolated. If his fever is that high. So I brought him down to his room. I put on clean sheets on his bed. I put him in bed and then I went upstairs to go get his tablet and some toys for him so we'd have music and toys and all that kind of stuff. Um, and as I was turning to walk out of his room, I just heard him throwing up. Like he just threw up everywhere. And I was like, no, we have to go back to the doctor because if this is flu, y'all, like I said in the other vlog, I'm not messing around <laughs> if it's flu. I'm not even playing. So we're going straight to the doctor and I, oh my goodness, are they even open? I don't even know if they're open, you guys. I'm gonna have to go check, hold on. All right, you guys. So Kiza's wheelchair is at school because Nana had to bring him home when he checked out because his wheelchair wouldn't fit in her car. So I don't have his wheelchair. So he's having to use Jack's stroller, but he's so little he fits, don't you man? Yeah, you guys, there is the longest line ever outside of this doctor's office. So we may be here a while, huh? All right, so we made it back in a room, finally, after, after two hours. Not good to be. Yeah, we're going a little bit, buddy. They're gonna... You all, I can tell he just does not feel good. Anyway, they're doing a flu swab on him. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not the flu. But either way, he's a sicko, huh? Yeah, it's a bee. I know. We're gonna have to wait, man. You guys, I am really, really hoping that it's not the flu. Um, I know that his therapist at school was diagnosed with the flu not too long ago, so although I'm not sure, I need to look up incubation period, but I feel like it couldn't be from her because it was a while ago, but y'all, he's miserable. You guys know how vivacious and like talkative and happy he usually is. I ate it for him, poor puppy. <laughs> Oh, you guys. All right, on to the pharmacy. So Narkees has influenza type A. Oh, Y'all, I'm kind of panicking because I do not want Aiden and the other kids to get it too, let alone myself because y'all, I cannot be out of commission. <laughs> I can't be out of commission. Um, so the doctor prescribed him Tamiflu and we are going to go yeah, Tamiflu and Zofran for nausea. So I've got to go get this filled at the pharmacy. My poor boy. Y'all, I hate it. But I'm glad that I know so that we can make extra sure that we're keeping him isolated as much as possible and away from the other kiddos. So I've had a lot of you guys asking about Aiden lately because he just hasn't been in the vlogs a ton lately. No, no. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, you found Sissy's water, didn't you? He has not been in the vlogs a ton lately. You guys, he's just been at school. Put your hand down. He has just been at school. <laughs> Why are you 
mad. Did I not take you to your room? <laughs> Did I not take you to your bedroom? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, come here. I brought him in here because we usually do like stories and songs and stuff. But he wanted, apparently he wanted to just go to bed. He doesn't want stories and songs. Anyway, he is good. He is awesome. He's loving school. That's the only reason he hasn't been in the vlogs is he's just at school. And he's doing awesome at school. Unfortunately, I am leaving all of the kids home tomorrow um, as a precaution since Marquis was diagnosed with the flu, you guys. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Um, but all the kids have been exposed to the flu, so I need to keep them home tomorrow to make extra sure none of them uh, are coming down with any type of symptoms um, before I send them. So that is why... That was why I have to keep them home. Um, and it was by the doctor's recommendation. I told him I had three other uh, school-aged kids, and that's what he said to do. Um, because when you have the flu, you can actually be contagious and spread it to other people a whole day before you even have any type of symptoms. So that's definitely something that I didn't know myself and something we are keeping an eye out with the other kids. Um, so far, everyone else seems fine. No fever. I keep like putting my face on him like to see if he has a fever but he doesn't he's totally fine and I hope they all stay fine um but Keys is asleep he's sleeping well he's messing with their lights um the girls and I yesterday we spent a ton of time packing up some of their room their room is still a mess we have to finish repaint or we have to finish painting it this upcoming weekend um we packed up all of their children's books we packed up a bunch of their clothes we packed up a ton of their toys and we still have a ton left to pack up in this room so that's gonna happen this upcoming weekend maybe even tomorrow since they're home we might just do that tomorrow um still trying to pack you guys no we don't have a house yet <laughs> but we are still packing because the more we do now the less we have to do later huh Aiden what are you doing what he's sleepy I don't know if he's going to want to do story time tonight. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. You guys pray for Keys. I really hate that. He is so miserable. He is starting Tamiflu in the morning. Um, so I think that will help ease a lot of his symptoms. But he's sleeping comfortably. He's had ibuprofen. His fever is down um, for now. And I have my alarm set for 2 a.m., 3:45 a.m. and then my normal 5 a.m. which I'm already awake by anyway um, so I'm gonna check on him all of those times <laughs> you'll see Aiden oh my goodness y'all the room is such a mess oh my gosh I don't know how my kids are like I don't even know. They're just hoarders of stuffed animals, I've decided. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, always love to inspire.